Welcome back to our Darling River expedition. We are heading beyond Burke. We visit the Yappa Aboriginal art site and climb Mount Goondabooka. And then we are forced to turn back with some truck issues. We've stopped at Kachilna Roadside Stalk, just outside of the Gundabuka National Park. Carl's made spag bog for tonight and he's put the spare into a container. He's going to reheat it tomorrow for my birthday as we've got a big day planned. Oh, this is much better. <laughs> is this where all the kangaroos in Australia have been right now? Yeah. Because they're not unknowable. <laughs> they're not in SA. <laughs> not in WA. And they're not in Pink. Are there in Box? Oh, there are lots of them. Found some goats. She loves goats. What is the buck? I said it was a buck. Yeah. I know my goats. Goat woman.
the city to you. Oh. Just a thought. Maybe. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, all their dancing. They're good condition. See the emu here? Snakey pattern thing is, I'm not sure what that is. The fish. So there's some rock out there, and then there's way down the back, there's even more all the way down there. the water it isn't in the middle of summer at the moment but you could imagine that that's a permanent water hole I would think you can see why the Aboriginals choose to live here such a cool place Lovely view. Look at it. Wow. Such an interesting place. You can understand why the Aboriginals used it and I assumed loved it. Water, food, shelter, everything. It's incredible. Let's get down to the riverbed somehow. Sure we can, maybe. A fair bit of water must flow over these rocks when it floods, I'm guessing. If you're ever near Burke in New South Wales, you should put this place on somewhere that you have to come and see. Huh. Someone's left me a little bushmelon. Don't eat them. They're not good to eat. You'll be sick for a week. I was saying you can understand why they loved it here, you know what I mean? And stayed here and Absolutely. food and water and shelter. Yeah. Everything. Wood and Yeah. They would have been able to run the animals in. Oh. Like in Yeah, and, chase them in the valley. Yeah, and then get them. Valley of the Eagle walking track. Mount Gundabooka has an interesting connection with the well-known bushranger Captain Starlight, also known as Frank Pearson. 
He was arrested here in a cave on the mountain on Christmas Day, 1868, two days after police had shot his horse from under him at Gundabooka Station. This ended the major police chase that had gone on for several months since Pearson shot and killed a constable during a robbery at a pub. Pearson himself was shot in the chest and wrist in this exchange, though this did not stop him and his companion, Charles Rutherford, continuing to rob travellers and properties as they ran from the law. Following his capture here on the mountain, Pearson was tried and at first sentenced to death, though this was commuted to life imprisonment. He was released from jail in 1884 and died in Brisbane in 1899. Is the sign like that has an indicator of the steepness? So Carl's nearly fallen over twice. Because it's a heavy bird and it's placed on my back. It's my birthday, I don't have to carry it. My birthday, I do. Uh, one, what happened to my birthday? I can't do it all. You had cake. And pork. Yeah. You had guests. I guess. I didn't have guests. You're nasty. It's nice seeing you. Yeah. How do you rate this track? Not quite a black diamond, so not crawling. <laughs> but it's nice. And we're not through the top yet. You're a dog. Oh, you are filming. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. So, so I got the car fence. So I know that you'll have to come to me at least. Mount Gundabuka. What do you think they call it? Gundabuka. It's not like Santa Cruz. <laughs> what do you think? We're not at the same. You're conning me. We are at the top. Uh, looks like someone threw a bucket of water on you. ABS didn't work. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Caddy. Happy birthday from all your friends and me. Happy birthday. Hippie pray. Hippie pray. Hippie pray. What did you do on your birthday? I climbed Mount Gundabukra. We are on the Eagle Valley Trail. You know why it's an eagle? Because we're about as high as the eagles when we're at the top, that's for sure. Where are you going, Caddy? I don't know, I lost the track. Oh my god. Here's the track here. Oh well, yes, everyone. Leave Goat Woman to lead you astray, that's for sure. <laughs> what do we mean after half an hour? Where are we? I'm well, starting know. to question it. Really? Because I had to rob through a tree and I was like, that doesn't seem right. No. <laughs> Where's the track? Where can you see it? Can I see it? Huh? Goes down here, across the valley. That way, that way, all the way up to there, down, and the car truck's down there somewhere. We climbed that mountain behind us, and it was steep and hot, but there was a good view. It was great. It was great. <laughs> Even though I'm a bit red now. <laughs> 
and no injuries. Woo And so yeah, the toilets and that are just up there. And showers? And showers, yep, all that. So we have to drive up to a walk. Uh, she said it's walk. Where the next one. And there's some firewood to start you off. Oh yeah. Don't crush your cans, not that we've got cans. Um, and you're allowed to collect. Where do we want to park? Where we can see the river. These are the drop toilets at Trilby Station. So they have lovely toilets and showers elsewhere, but if you're in a rush and don't have time to dig a hole for yourself, in a private space, you have your Jimmy Thunderbox and a little bit of privacy. <laughs> Make sure you do the job quick before anyone walks by. <laughs> As you can see the ground, we wouldn't be getting out if it poured too much. It'd be very slippery. We're at Trilby Station and we got in here yesterday afternoon and it was lovely and sunny and this morning it's a little bit overcast. We've looked at the weather forecast and it says it's only going to rain one or so mil but we've set up our awning and we made the decision to do that because if it rains you can't leave. The tracks out of here will be closed, the drive's closed, everything will be closed so you'll be stuck until it dries up. So we'll see. Maybe we're here for a little while, but it is nice. Can't complain. And more water in the Darling, and for the farms, which is great. But for now, we're going to stay here, because if it really rains, we will be staying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ain't Permanently. No, ain't no options. I hope they've got beer. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Station Life, 6am wake up. Just as a quick explanation, the grey dirt plains is where the Darling River floods up to. When you see the red dirt, that's the high ground where the Darling River never floods to. So just a point of interest. Look at the sheds. Even the silos are big. Oh, that's where we're allowed to have here. I don't miss fence. <laughs> We're at the Trilby Station Goat Yards. So since it was goat yards, we thought we should definitely come and have a look. That's where you want to swim. Yeah. Oh. 
appears here that we're Donga. How far is that? That's a long way. 500. The goats, yeah. 500? Mm, that leaves a lot of condition. Chemicals in here. This one or more? Uh, mm, it is too. Uh, 1971 Cruiser or something like that. It's got upgraded headlights. You look bastard. Gotta love old stuff. Okay, let's do this shit first. It's older. Maybe not. Shearer's quarters. Look at the old veranda. How cool would that be? Oh, they've lined all the roofs as well to keep the heat out. Old metal fire screen. Stuff that lasts about 100 years. Not like the new stuff that lasts three. Old hardwood floors. Wow. It's exactly the same as my grandma's. Yep. Same sink, same table. Oh, they've got an Arga. Same cupboards. My grandma had an old house in Sydney, near Sydney. Sunshine instant milk. <laughs> had a bit of that in my life, I tell ya. <laughs> Just a bit of brass though as well. It's in the pantry, it's all full. Have a look at this old icebox, I assume you call it. So they would have put their meat or their dairy products in here. And then the, down there they would have had a drip tray. And in the top, they would have put their ice to keep it cool. Would have melted, gone through to the drip tray, kept it all cool underneath because the cold air seeps to the bottom. Look at all the old stuff. It's cool as. Give a step here, huh? 
I had electric hot water on, I guess. Big head of tank. Hmm. Big head of tank up there, that's yeah, massive. And they had ice pressure. <laughs> Very cool. Nice that they share it. What a magnificent old house that would have been, hey? Steel roof, but not asbestos. They would have swam in this summer. Oh. There's another one behind it, I think, is there, or a flood wall? Old horse staples. Where did they have their generator? They got power. Surely the generator would have been a little bit away from the house. I'm on to the track to find the generator that they used to have running right here and I'm on. check it out single cylinder running a little electric generator down there there's a power board nice switches relay transformers wow big firewheels and crank <laughs> what a cool bit of history I knew it was somewhere new chum homestead on the old Trilby station. There's Catherine Wayne in the truck because I'm looking at mechanical things and she doesn't care. Nothing, I just said you're waiting in the truck for me. No. I said you don't care about mechanical things. No. See? I do not. I didn't know. Cool. Queen of the desert, Carl. We're bored. We're doing a station drive. Wow. The panel flex a lot. Do the gate. What's going off there? You got ripped off. Doing a good job, Navi. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. If you want a reminder, hit the bell. And remember, we always love a thumbs up. Unfortunately, we had to cut our trip short due to some vehicle technical issues. If you've been watching our series, you probably know what I mean. But regardless, we're now at Tilbrook Pub and enjoying a beer. And 
then we're heading home. Luckily we turned to home because after we left it rained non-stop for a few days. We would have been stuck at Tilpa Pub, which could be bad or it could be bad. But anyway, we could have been stuck, but we weren't. So luckily we headed home. I can see Goat Woman in her natural habitat. Let's sneak up on her and see whether she notices us. I'm in my stealth mode. She spotted us. Hi, Catherine, how are you? I just got there. Yes. We we're observing you, goat woman, in your natural habitat, leaping from rock to rock. Yes, I do. Hey? Light as a feather, <laughs> jumping around, frolicking in the sun. Nang, gang, nang, gang, whatever. Who knows? Looks like Priscilla. Pris Almost scarf. <laughs> 